Hello, 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 and welcome to... Today I bring you a strange little equipment, Spy Kit. And the truth is, this may be the cheapest combo breakdown yet. All cards are complete jank, so if you're on a budget and want to leave your opponents scratching their heads, stay tuned to this video. So, Spy Kit is a 2 cost equipment that equips for 2. Equipped a creature get plus 1 plus 1 and has all names of non-legendary creature cards, in addition to its name. Now, while that seems pretty weird and useless, when paired with the right card, Spy Kit can tutor any creature card in your deck, lock out players from playing creatures, and even become a one-sided board wipe. Don't believe me? Let's take a closer look. Let's say you have a Grizzly Bear and you equip the Spy Kit to it. Your Grizzly Bear now has the same name of every non-legendary creature in the game. So if you play Mitotic Manipulation, a card that seems useless in EDH, you get a free non-legendary creature off the top of your deck. Mitotic Manipulation says, look at the top 7 cards of your library. You may put any of those cards onto the battlefield if it has the same name as a permanent. Then you put the rest on the bottom in a random order. So, if you reveal any non-legendary creature in those 7 cards, you can play it for free, because it has the same name as your Grizzly Bears now. You get the same effect with Bifurcate and Mask of the Mimic, except you get to search your deck for a creature. Bifurcate simply says search your deck for a permanent with the same name as target non-token permanent and put it on the battlefield, while Mask of the Mimic makes you sack a creature, but then lets you tutor for a creature with the same name as target non-token creature. So, thanks to your Spy Kid and your Grizzly Bears, you get a free Crater Hoof right out of your deck. The trick here though is that Spy Kit cannot be equipped to a token creature for these cards to work. However, Retraced Image doesn't care what Spy Kit is equipped to. You just need to reveal a non-legendary creature from your hand and you get to play it for free since it will share a name with your Spy Kit creature. But if you want a more permanent combo with Spy Kit, you can use Verdant Succession. A green enchantment that says whenever a non-token green creature dies, its controller can search their library for a creature and put that card onto the battlefield. So, if you have a way to kill off your equipped creature, you get to exchange that creature for any non-legendary creature in your deck. The catch here is that the equipped creature must be non-token and green, but the creature you grab from your deck can be any color. The nice part here is that Verdant Succession is an enchantment, so you can do this multiple times as both the Verdant Succession and the Spy Kit will remain on the battlefield until they're removed. I actually made a whole combo breakdown on Verdant Succession, it's just as crazy as Spy Kit, I'll add the link at the end of this video. But moving on, Remembrance is a white version of Verdant Succession. Whenever a non-token creature you control dies, you can search your library for a creature with the same name as it, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Not the battlefield, but at least it doesn't have to be a green creature that dies. Pack Hunt is a one-shot version of this. Search your library for three creature cards with the same name as target creature, and put them into your hand. This can be great to grab any two or three card non-legendary creature combos, and put them straight into your hand like Deadeye Navigator and Peregrine Drake. But Spy Kit is more than just a tutor engine. Let's talk removal. Let's say you have your equipped creature out, and in an ideal world it's your only creature. And then you play a card like Maelstrom Pulse, a sorcery that says destroy target non-land permanent and all other permanents with the same name as it. Well, you just destroyed every non-legendary non-token creature on the board. Same is true if you play Detention Sphere, you exile every non-legendary non-token creature. And if you play Echoing Truth, you return all non-legendary non-token creatures to their controller's hands. There's lots of value here. But, if you can somehow equip Spy Kit to a creature under your opponent's control, you can be even meaner. This can be done by giving one of your equipped creatures to your opponent with Bizarre Traitor, or using Magnetic Theft to attach Spy Kit to an opponent's creature, or equipping your Humble Defector and then tapping it to give it to an opponent. Either way, once Spy Kit is on a creature your opponent's control, hit them with Eradicate. A card that says you exile target non-black creature and then search their controller's hand, graveyard, and library for each card with the same name as that creature. So you just exiled every non-legendary creature in your opponent's deck. Declaration in Stone can also serve as a one-sided board wipe as well. It exiles a creature and all other creatures with the same name as it under that creature's controller's control. The best part about this is that you still control Spy Kit when all this happens, so you can repeat this process to another opponent. 
And finally, you can lock out players from playing non-legendary creatures with Cornered Market and Bizarre of Wonders, both of which stop players from casting cards that share a name with permanents on the battlefield. Just keep in mind that this affects you too, but a lot of cards mentioned in this video just put the creature straight into play and you don't have to cast them, so you can get around this lock quite easily. And there are some wacky ways to use Spy Kit. If you want to see how these combos would fit great into a Verdant Succession deck, check out my video on your screen now. So, have you ever used Spy Kit? Did you even know Spy Kit could be used in EDH? Let me know down below, and when you need another combo, come back here to Combo Breakdown.